What up? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message for the sign of Leo, wherever that resonates for you. Um, keep in mind, energy is fluid, you guys, so the roles can be flipped if need be. Also, only take what resonates. Um, leave the rest for somebody else. Tapping into my Leo's energy. Um, we've got some big cards coming out here with these Oracle cards. It looks like my Leos are switching timelines here right um so a lot shifting right now there's this retreat card as well speaking of um unplugging unplugging from social media unplugging from the world for a little bit and sort of going within major hermit energy here um we've also got this Ep epiphany and this dreams card that both flew out stuck together along with this source card right i usually only pull three <clears throat> we had five wanting to come out um so maybe for some of you re really receiving messages through visions and through dreams right now through your meditative states um and receiving this clarity right if that's not something that's been happening then definitely be on the lookout definitely um take some time to sit with yourself to connect with your higher self and to see what source is trying to send through now is how I'm hearing it. So we will jump into this tarot, my beautiful Leo, and see what has been happening past, present, and future. Um, if anybody would like to book a personal with me, that information is down in the description box below. Happy new moon, by the way, everybody. Um, let's get it. Mother, Father, Divine, Holy Spirit messages for my Leos for their highest good to help empower them, to help give them clarity, to help guide them. What do we have in the recent past for what was my Leo's? So this is kind of scattered as well. <clears throat> um, I see a lot of clarity here though, right? And and really a a probably a shakeup of some sort. Um, with two fives popping out, we've got the five of swords in reverse with the five of pentacles, the five of materials. Um, I feel like this is a shakeup within the home, within the home foundation or within a in-house relationship or maybe a family situation, possibly even at work here. Um, but there's clarity coming in for you. And I see you sort of feeling like you're going at this alone. Um, but deciding to keep pushing forth, nonetheless, with this night of voices, um, coming out like this, I feel like maybe my, some of my Leos had, had to decide to leave a situation behind or cut, cut something off, someone off, maybe even quit a job. I'm seeing, uh, for whoever I'm connecting to, you felt like you were very stagnant or maybe stuck for too long in this sort of pain in this, this is like a rebirth, right? But it's like a pause, right? Right halfway in, halfway out. Um, thanks for that vision spirit. Um, and I feel like a lot of these decisions and a lot of these truths you're having to speak right now are not easy for you, right? But you're doing these things to bring in balance. Another five on the bottom of the deck um, with the five of cups. And this is saying that you are really in a funk right now. This is, this is kind of like a really funky energy. Um, being sad, maybe almost even depressed. The thing about this energy um, you guys, what I'm hearing is the universe is making some of us uncomfortable right now. So that way we let go of things that are no longer serving us here. And another five with the five of wands. So all four fives, you guys, 55, 55, 555. Five, five. Maybe some of you guys are seeing the number five a lot. Um, big synchronicities, you guys, because this is a major transformation and change that you're going through. Um, I'm feeling a lot of resistance here. Um, and with this four of pentacles, uh, coming out, it's, this is really talking about, um, deciding to step out of an old story, Leo, deciding to 
loosen our grip and let go of things that we are holding on to too tightly or things that we've been holding on for too long. It looks like the universe is definitely trying to get you to um, take back some sort of control and really put the focus here on um, ourselves, right? I see a lot of harmony and balance wanting to come in. So um, I'm gonna, in a victory on the bottom of the deck, I'm gonna grab you some advice um, along with this, okay. So moving to this new space, making that decision, and this may not be an easy decision though, but it's it's taking that action, making that decision, taking that action to move to this new space, maybe move out of this space, maybe move to this other job, um, but move forward into a new energy here, Leo. And we have the emperor and the eight of pentacles popping out like this the eight of materials and this is you focusing on yourself leo building your legacy um um really building your empire uh leveling up learning growing um getting promotions this is promoting yourself in life here leo and this coming out with your <clears throat> advice taking action so shifting the focus on to leo and what's best for leo and taking that action moving forward and this is about keeping taking this opportunity leo and keeping the focus on what it is that we're trying to manifest here and by putting energy toward these things they'll be able to come to pass here in our physical world i'm gonna grab you guys some romance angels spirit what do we have i see free yourself immediately i'm drawn to that free yourself so definitely a situation that um what do we have for my leos please spirit for their highest good pay attention to the red flags so this message is very clear love yourself first um and then separation so i'm connecting to a very specific energy here um i hope Everybody is not going through this, but if you are, know that I'm right here with you, right? And part of ascending on this spiritual journey, on this karmic journey, on this journey of life, um, it, it really is not easy to let go of control. But the more that we do, the more things click into place our vibration raises here. This is about also about keep trusting the universe here, Leo, and keeping your vibration as high as you can. I'm gonna grab, if anybody needs a deeper look into this, like I said, you can holler at me. Description box will have all that information, but I'm gonna jump into these uh, Oracle cards here and see what messages it has for you, Leo. Um, out of this Kali Oracle, Divine Mother, what messages do we have? What do my Leos need to hear right now, please, for their highest good to help give them clarity, to help empower them? Wow, I flip over that. I knocked this card off and then was, was guided to flip it over. And there you are, Leo. This is your path of destiny. You are a bad mama jamma. You are strong. You are... Um, courageous and you do have what it takes to push through this no matter what it is you have the strength you are the entire universe my beautiful leo all of the love that we search for all of the security all of the everything that we search for externally is really within us and i feel source is 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 right with you showing you this and giving you the strength and guidance to make through this <clears throat> Kali Mahamaya. When a situation becomes unnecessarily complicated or confusing to your heart, Kali Mahamaya rises spontaneously as a protective bearer of universal truth. Ultimately, her revelation shall lead you beyond that which is deceptive or not right for you. This you are promised. She protects you from that which is unworthy of your heart and seeks to constrain your spirit. And that's it. There's just your your path is being cleared for something far better. I'm hearing my beautiful Leo. Here's that sword. This came out in Cancer's reading as well, right? Mahavidya. No matter how logical an approach may be or how sensible it may seem, there are times when the heart nudges us toward different a different way. 
Have the courage to be moved by your heart along untried paths that resonate whatever your logical mind has to say about them. You are outgrowing a problem and birthing a superior solution. And then this says, in unusually challenging situations, the ways we have supported ourselves during more ordinary times are insufficient. We need to be open to divine inspiration, protection, and proceeding in new ways. Here is a portent of unexpected success. Even if everything appears to be going against you, the tide, sh the tide shall turn through divine grace. Om Namah Shivaya. That is, um, that's amazing energy because what I'm actually feeling intuitively coming through this, this reading, Leo, is that you're about to level the fuck up big time. Part of my French, you guys, sorry about, um, the language, but like, that's the only way I can emphasize with words what spirit is trying to do right now for you. There's something very important that you came here to do, Leo, is how I'm hearing it. New beginnings here. Um, and I feel like something is holding you back from that. Something is sucking you dry. Something is draining your energy. Something is um, taking your focus away from repairing and then here, creating exactly what it is you want. And this says confidence in your magic. Number 37, 10 in numerology, a new beginning, a painful ending. Teachability. This is being willing to do things differently than the way that you planned and, and, and really go with what the universe is telling you, Leo. And then we've got this sacred contract. So like I said, um, this is just reiterating the fact that you are here to bring something very special, very unique to this world, Leo. My Leos are old souls, star seeds, royalty in the spiritual realm here. And you guys really are here to show others how to love. Um, you guys are healers. So I feel like there is something that you are being called to do. And there's some change that needs to come about. And accepting this um, with grace and love is is what you're being guided to do and also leo take care of yourself please my babies right now drink plenty of water eat a light diet get plenty of rest do not beat yourself up about taking a day off or um quote unquote not doing anything because when we sit and we meditate and we get into a state of silence we are actually um healing ourselves we are able to receive and interpret cosmic information um, and really see the way forward. Switching these timelines, my babies. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it helps somebody out there. I hope it brings you clarity um, or at least uh, was entertaining for you. Um, join us on social media, you guys, TikTok. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. There's a Facebook group as well uh, that I have swimming through the void. And we've got a nice, a small collective, but we're growing over there. And it's all of us just uh, together. It's a great energy, a great collective. We are all evolving together. We are all just walking each other home. Um, so I'm sending you guys tons of love. Um, this too shall pass. I love you, Leo.